Have you ever been in a relationship where everything starts off perfect? She's into you, you're into her, it all seems great. Until one day, it just stops. Suddenly, she's pulling away, the texts slow down, the affection fades, and you're left wondering, what the hell happened? What if I told you the secret to turning this around isn't in chasing her more, but in doing the complete opposite? The brutal truth is that most men lose because they're too afraid to walk away. But today, I'm going to show you the exact moment when walking away, when detaching, makes her chase you. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll not only understand why this works, but you'll have the power to flip the script completely. Ready to stop being an option and start being the prize. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful lessons from Stoicism, detachment. The Stoics knew something thousands of years ago that most men today still haven't figured out. When you let go of what you can't control, you gain true control. In today's world, it's easy to feel like you have to constantly prove yourself to women, as if their attention validates your worth. But here's the truth. The more you chase, the less she respects you. The more you show you need her, the quicker she loses interest. Detachment isn't about ignoring her or being a cold. It's about recognizing your own value and refusing to put her on a pedestal. Today, I'll show you how embracing this ancient stoic principle will not only make her crave your attention, but also put you back in the driver's seat of your life. So, if you're ready to stop being the one who's always chasing and start being the one who's chased, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Number one, the moment you step back. This is where the magic happens. You've been texting her, calling her, always being the one to initiate. But the moment you stop, she starts to notice something's different. It's like taking away her favorite toy. She might not care much when she has it, but the second it's gone, she starts to miss it. You become a vacuum in her life, and trust me, that vacuum gets louder the longer you stay away. Think about it. When was the last time she really reached out to you? If she's gotten used to you always being there, she doesn't value it anymore. But the moment you stop being her emotional crutch, that's when she starts thinking, wait, where did he go? You see, women are hardwired to respond to challenge. If you're constantly available, you're not a challenge, and she'll get bored. But when you step back and reclaim your time, suddenly she's the one who's unsure. Stop initiating contact. Give her the space to realize what she's missing. Stop being the one who texts first. Stop asking to hang out and stop over-investing. Watch how the dynamic changes within a week, sometimes even faster. Number two, understanding your own worth. Let me ask you something. Why are you letting her decide your value? Think about it. Every time you chase her, every time you prioritize her over your own goals, you're telling her and yourself that she's more important than you are. And why? Because society has brainwashed men into thinking they need to prove themselves to women. But here's the truth. You don't owe her anything. The minute you start seeking her approval, you're playing a losing game. You're saying, Please validate me, when in reality, the only validation that matters is your own. Men, your worth doesn't come from a woman's attention. It comes from the work you put into yourself, your body, your mind, your mission. When you realize this, you stop being the guy who bends over backward for her. You become the man who knows that his time and energy are too valuable to waste chasing after someone who doesn't appreciate it. Women know when a man doesn't value himself. They can smell desperation a mile away. If you're constantly seeking her approval, she'll walk all over you. That's the harsh reality. Women aren't attracted to weakness. They're attracted to strength. The moment you show her that you don't need her approval to feel complete, she'll start viewing you differently. Suddenly, you're not the guy who's constantly in her inbox, begging for attention. 
You're the man who's focused on himself, and that's where real attraction comes from. Stop basing your self-worth on her responses. When you text, call or make plans, and she ignores you or doesn't reciprocate, that's her loss, not yours. Number three, how she responds to your absence. At first, she might not care. That's the brutal truth. Women, especially today, are used to having men wrapped around their fingers. They've got guys liking their pictures, sliding into their DMs, and practically begging for their attention. So, when you pull back, her ego doesn't feel the hit immediately. She's so used to validation from everywhere that for a while, she might think she's better off without you. But here's the kicker, that's just the surface. Deep down, women hate losing control. When she realizes you're not chasing anymore, it won't sit right with her. Modern women are constantly being validated, whether it's through Instagram likes or thirsty texts from beta orbiters. But the moment you stop giving her that attention, it will trigger something. At first, she'll pretend it doesn't bother her. She'll continue to post pictures, hang out with her friends, and act as if you're the one missing out. But inside, that seed of doubt is growing. She'll start checking her phone more often. Why? Because now she's wondering why you're not there. Remember, women crave attention, like men crave respect. The second you stop feeding her ego, she'll feel the void. She'll scroll through her messages, waiting for your name to pop up. And when it doesn't, she'll start to wonder. This isn't about being manipulative. It's about showing her that you're not going to beg for her attention anymore. And trust me, once that reality sets in, she'll be the one reaching out. Number four, why detachment increases attraction. Here's where most men get it completely wrong. Society has conditioned you to believe that if you just shower her with attention, gifts and affection, she'll eventually come around. But the truth is, the more you chase, the faster she runs. Women are biologically hardwired to be attracted to strength and mystery, not desperation. When you're constantly available, constantly seeking her validation, you're signaling weakness. And in the brutal world of modern dating, weakness is the death of attraction. Let me be crystal clear. Detachment doesn't mean being rude or ignoring her. It means pulling back your energy and investing it in yourself. When you stop focusing on her and start focusing on your own growth, your own life, she'll sense it. It creates a shift. Why? Because now you're not that needy guy anymore. You're the man who has options, the man who isn't afraid to walk away. And let me tell you something. There's nothing more attractive to a woman than a man who can walk away. In today's social media-driven world, where instant gratification is the norm, your detachment becomes a powerful weapon. She's used to guys blowing up her DMs, liking all her pictures, and giving her attention on demand. But when you're not part of that noise, she'll start to wonder, what's he doing? Who's he with? Curiosity turns into attraction. Detachment creates an air of mystery, and mystery, my friend, is the key to getting her hooked. Number five, overcoming the fear of losing her. Here's where most men trip up. The idea of losing her terrifies you, right? You think if you don't text her, call her, or bend over backward for her, she'll forget about you and move on to the next guy. But let me ask you this. What kind of woman leaves you just because you took a step back? If she does, she's showing you her true colors. She never valued you in the first place. And men, here's a hard truth. If she doesn't respect you, she doesn't deserve you. Let that sink in. The fear of losing her is just that. Fear. It's an illusion. A lie you've been fed by a world that tells you your worth is tied to how hard you chase women. But the reality is, if you're chasing, you've already lost. You need to flip the script. Fear is her weapon, not yours. She uses it to keep you running after her, scared of losing what? Her attention? Her approval? 
none of that matters. What matters is that you stop being afraid to walk away. Men today are conditioned to believe that if they don't constantly prove their worth to a woman, she'll leave. But the fact is, when you start detaching and living your life without needing her, that's when she starts fearing losing you. You become the man who doesn't depend on her for validation, and that makes you powerful. Start today by flipping the fear. Next time you're tempted to text her out of fear, she'll forget about you. Don't. Use that energy to focus on yourself, your goals, and your passions. Watch how quickly the dynamic shifts. Number six, focusing on personal growth. While she's sitting there wondering where you've gone, you're not twiddling your thumbs waiting for her to notice. No, you're out there leveling up. You're hitting the gym, working on your career, mastering your craft. In a world where too many men sacrifice their potential to please women, you're doing the opposite. You're reclaiming your time and investing it where it matters, on you. Most guys lose themselves when they get into a relationship. They forget about their goals, their ambitions, and start prioritizing her above everything else. You start skipping the gym, canceling plans with the boys, and your hobbies, gone. But when you detach, you put yourself first. You stop caring about what she thinks and start building the man you're meant to be. Here's the kicker. When she sees you focused on you, getting stronger, better, more confident, it drives her crazy. Suddenly, the guy she thought she could string along is out there becoming a man of value. You're not just someone who fills space in her life. You're someone who's outgrowing her. And that realization will make her want you even more. Start today. Get back into your routine. Pick up the goals you dropped for her. Reinvest in yourself, physically, mentally, emotionally. The more you focus on your personal growth, the more power you reclaim, and the less you care whether she's paying attention or not. Number seven, how she begins to miss you. Here's where the tables turn. You've stopped chasing, you've stopped being her emotional safety net, and now she's starting to feel the weight of your absence. At first, she might not admit it. Maybe she'll act like she's totally fine, living her best life, posting pictures with her friends, or maybe even trying to make you jealous with another guy. But don't be fooled. Every time she opens her phone and sees no texts from you, she'll start to wonder. You're no longer there to fill her emotional void. And trust me, that void gets bigger the longer you stay away. In today's world, where everyone is glued to their phones, your silence is deafening. She starts scrolling through her messages, realizing that the one guy who used to be there is gone. She starts to crave the attention she used to take for granted. And that's when the doubt creeps in. She'll start to wonder if you've moved on, if you've found someone else, or if you simply don't care anymore. And that drives her crazy. This is the turning point. When she realizes that you're no longer emotionally dependent on her, She's forced to reevaluate what you meant to her. Modern women are used to men chasing them, used to being the center of attention. But when you break that pattern, when you stop playing by her rules, you shift the dynamic entirely. When she starts to reach out, don't jump at the opportunity. Stay cool, stay calm, and most importantly, stay detached. Let her come to you, but on your terms. You're no longer the guy who bends over backwards for her attention. She needs to earn her way back into your life. And trust me, men, when you play it like this, she will chase. Number eight, the realization of what she lost. This is the moment of reckoning, the point where she realizes the reality of what she gave up. You were her rock, the man who stood by her, gave her the attention she didn't even know she craved until it was gone. Now, you're not there, and the validation she was getting from you has vanished. She's out there trying to get it from other guys, thinking they'll fill the gap, but deep down, they don't measure up to what you brought to the table. Here's the raw truth. 
Women today are bombarded with attention from all sides. Social media, dating apps, their DMs are blowing up with guys trying to get their attention. But 99% of these men are just chasing, and she knows it. She takes them for granted because they're easy. You? You stopped being easy. You stopped being one of the many, and you became the exception. You're the man who pulled back and made her realize what she actually had. The kicker. When she realizes what she lost, she's going to start second-guessing everything. She thought she could replace you easily, but she's discovering that no one else matches your energy, your presence, or the way you made her feel. This is the power of scarcity, and you've become a scarce resource in her life. And men, scarcity creates value. By pulling away, you've skyrocketed your value in her eyes, and now she's left feeling the void. Number nine, why detachment empowers you. The biggest mistake most guys make today is giving up their power. You've been conditioned to believe that the more you give, the more you'll get in return. You've been told that if you just keep trying harder, she'll eventually come around. But that's not how it works. Detachment is about understanding that you are the prize. Yes, read that again. You don't need to beg for her attention. You don't need to seek her validation. The moment you stop chasing and start focusing on your own path, you become more powerful than ever before. Here's the reality. Women don't want a man who's emotionally dependent. They want someone who knows his worth and isn't afraid to walk away. When you detach, you're sending a powerful message. You're not waiting around for anyone's approval. You're building your own empire, and anyone who wants to be part of that will have to earn it. This isn't about being cold or playing games. It's about self-respect. You're no longer the guy waiting by the phone, hoping she'll give you the time of day. You're too busy leveling up. Too many men are slaves to female validation. Social media has convinced you that your value is based on how many women show interest in you, how many likes you get, or how often she texts back. But the truth? Your power comes from within. Detachment is the ultimate power, and when you embrace it, you reclaim your freedom. You control the narrative, you control the terms, and most importantly, you control your life. Number 10. The final shift from chasing to being chased. In the world we live in today, women are used to being chased. They're constantly bombarded by attention from men who will jump at their slightest hint of interest. But you're not like them. You're different. You've detached. You've shown her that you're not another option in her inbox. You're the prize. When you pull back and focus on yourself, you disrupt the script. Now she's left wondering, why isn't he chasing me? What's wrong with me? And that's where you want her to be, questioning herself, not you. Here's the reality. Women want what they can't have. The more available you are, the less value you hold in her eyes. But when you show her you're perfectly fine without her, suddenly you become a rare commodity. You've done what most men won't. Put yourself first. She starts to panic. She thought she could have you whenever she wanted, but now you're the one who's in control. Suddenly, she's sending you texts she never sent before. She's reaching out, asking what you're up to. She's feeling the burn of your absence, and now she's the one chasing after you. This is the ultimate reversal of power. You're no longer the guy sitting around waiting for a response. You've built a life that's exciting, and now she wants in. But here's the kicker, you set the terms. When she starts chasing you, don't be too quick to give in. Let her work for it. She's got to prove herself this time. You've earned the right to be selective. Don't sell yourself short. If there's one thing you take away from this video, let it be this. Your power lies in detachment. It's not about being cold or distant. It's about standing firm in your own value. When you stop chasing, everything changes. You've seen how the shift happens. The moment you focus on yourself, 
She starts questioning, wondering, and eventually chasing. But here's the thing. This isn't just about getting her back. It's about you reclaiming control over your life, your energy, and your emotions. You deserve a relationship where you're valued, not one where you're begging for scraps. Detachment puts you back in the driver's seat of your own life, where you belong. If this hit home for you, and you're ready to take control of your relationships and your life, smash that subscribe button right now. It's free, and it helps us spread this message to more men who need to hear it. And if you want to go deeper, support the channel by joining the membership. It's how we keep this content raw, real, and accessible to all men out there fighting to reclaim their power. Don't wait for her approval. Start your journey today.